Hi, and welcome to today's edition of The Great Bliss. Today's guest is a 2017 Merlot brought to us by Ocean Song. It's 13.5% alcohol and coming to us from the Russian Valley, which is located within California. So without further ado, let's dive into this. To the wine cam. So wine, what do you taste like? Ooh, I am digging this flavor. It's just smooth. A couple of things I could tell you about uh, the region because I, uh, I, I spent a lot of, I actually spent a lot of time uh, trying to research this winery. And yes, I do do research. Not you, not just you. Other places also, but there's there's other places you can get information from. Uh, mainly a great place would be the distributors or the winery's website. This winery has no website, sadly. So all I really have is information about the region because I, I uh, yeah. So it's um Santa Rosa, California, which I believe that this particular wine actually comes from the Russian Valley, which might actually explain the flavors of this wine because the Russian Valley is the coldest region in Sonoma. Because of that, it actually lends itself towards the ripening process and getting those kind of intense flavors into the wines. So it's like Barry White's voice in a bottle. Sonoma was actually founded about 1825, I wanna say, by a couple of people, or founded American colonized. Better way to put it. But mainly, they didn't really start growing wines there as far as we know until like 1800s. Why? In all the apartments of all of Maryland, why'd you have to walk into mine and pour yourself into my glass? You didn't pour yourself in the glass. I did that. The black currant flavor you taste, um, but after that, you're just kind of left with nothing once it leaves your mouth. It's a, a little bit of like, that tannin kind of bitter, a little bit licorice-y kind of taste. Not like heavy licorice, but just like that bitterness of it. It's looking a bit low. Barkeep, another bottle for me and my friends. Thanks. For this island theme Merlot, I decided to make a island dish. So we have chicken adobo over a bed of rice. Saltiness sweetness of the Merlot. I love it when a plant all comes together. It's just like, I, I want to buy more of this wine. I'm going to buy more of this wine. So where does this island time wine fall on the grape list? Well, as much as I do enjoy it, I really do enjoy it. Uh, it's got a very one-dimensional note to it. I mean, it's got like grape kind of currant flavor. It's got a little bit of rum going for it, but once it leaves your mouth, it's gone. You kind of don't remember what you're drinking. Unfortunately, it's very, unfortunately, forgettable. Which I really do hate to say because I actually, I enjoy the wine. It's just, it's really not that great. So, I mean, as far as for me, this is going to be number seven. And as always, right-handed in life, left-handed in wine.